started the game that chance went away. So how difficult is it to motivate yourself to play the game after that? Yeah, I think obviously extremely difficult. Um, we were actually joking about yesterday, um, thinking that you know if if we maybe scored 200 and you uh, bowled them out for 50, we could, you know still in with a uh, chance. But yeah, I think um, you know in in sort of summing up our, our season, it's been very up and down. Uh, we've had periods where we've been very good, and then periods where we obviously haven't been been good. And then coming into the last match with not really much to play for, it's it's always going to be difficult to to get yourself up. Um, and yeah, obviously the, the uh, energies were a little bit low uh, this this evening. Well, obviously you have played this tournament before. Now you joined this year uh, at the end of uh, the tournament. So, have, have you seen any uh, difference? Uh, maybe positive or negative? Have you seen any difference this time? Well, I think firstly the the wickets in in Chittagong were really good. Um, I think obviously uh, we've we've had two games now um, since. Yeah, yeah, good, good for the batters. But obviously challenging for uh, bowling. I think people want to see T20 games where it's it's high scoring. I don't, I don't think people want to see games where it's 130, 140. Um, so even as as bowlers, it is tough for us. But I think even for my myself, if I'm if I'm bowling and I, I know that it's going to be a high scoring game, um, it it almost makes it more uh, challenging. And I, th I think it's it's in good for the crowd, but then also good for the batters as well because then they obviously learn how to you know play and. Um, Construct innings where they can get big totals, um, and obviously coming here you need a different skill set. Um, I think most of the guys were were striking just over 100, so um, f you know to to actually watch a game like like this and even the earlier game as well, where it's you know lower scoring, um, it's it's always difficult. I think you you want high scoring games, so I think in in any competition where you have good wickets um, and and obviously you know everyone is under under pressure to you know do well because batters. When the wickets are good, batters have to score big runs, and when the wicket is good, bowlers have to uh, restrict them. Um, you know, sometimes yeah, you can actually bowl badly and you know get get away with decent figures, and that's that's not really good for T20 cricket. What went wrong with the captain? He was very he was on a high for the past four games, and then he went down. <laughs> I'm not sure because I I was I was following the the games on you know Crick Info. Um, but I obviously couldn't see the visuals, so I'm not sure what happened in the first sort of seven or eight games. Um, but I think you know certainly since I've I've come here, obviously confidence is low once you've lost a couple of games. I think not not just the captain, I think everyone in the in the squad. Um, and then I think you're always playing catch up cricket, uh, trying to qualify for the playoffs. Um, I think after four or five games, I think everyone probably thought, yeah, you know, we have a, a really good chance to to get in. But when you're in a in a tournament where it's 11 or, or 12 games, um, you know every single game is important. So not just the first five or six games, because you, you can still lose the next uh, four or five games and then not not qualify. So it's about being consistent in in every competition where you play more than 10 games. I think always the better teams finish near the near the top. Um, I think obviously cool uh, uh, and um, challenges. I think we were kind of the next. Uh, batch of teams, um, and obviously they they qualified ahead of us. Um, but I, I still feel that you know if we had one or two games where we had won, uh, we would have been you know really not favourites for the for the finals, but up up there because we have a really good squad. You just mentioned that he's having low in confidence. That's why you have to come here. That's why you came here because usually the captain comes. No, I th I don't know. No, maybe not. maybe you, you guys like me, so uh, I'm, I'm back again. <laughs> no, I think you know. I, I mean, if he's, you'll you'll have to answer for for himself. But I don't I don't think it's about shying away. I think it's just um, you know he has a, a lot of responsibilities. Um, so you know, for someone like my, myself, if I can take a, a small load of the of the cap and even the coaches as well, just trying to, to help them out as well. I think that's that's a, a you know job that I really enjoy, and it's it's always nice to see you guys as well. <laughs> uh, when you, do, you just talked about winning one or two more matches to qualify, in the last few matches you guys shuffled your batting order quite a bit. Do you regret it now that if you would have stick, stuck with a fixed order, it could have been better for you? It's always better in, in hindsight. Um, I think if it, if it came off and uh, we ended up winning those games and everyone says, oh no, the, the coaching staff are geniuses. Um, but obviously, if, if it doesn't come off, then you look back and you say, maybe keep the same consistency, all of that type of stuff. So 
uh, I, I always find that when you're losing, there's a lot more questions. Um, sometimes when you're winning, even if you're not playing well or you're making a few mistakes, people kind of brush over it. Um, I think just for us this season, we just haven't been good enough. Um, and yeah, obviously it's uh, shown where we've where we finished in the in the you know league stages. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. I see you next year.